Hey everybody, are you down with APP? Well, what's APP? APP is Authorized Push Payment Fraud. Authorized Push Payment Fraud, or APP, has been in the news a lot recently. Well, primarily in the news in the UK, and it's due to real-time payment schemes, such as the Faster Payment Scheme that's being used in the UK. See, the Faster Payment Scheme has made push payment fraud more attractive to criminals because they can quickly take the money and run. <laughs> Before going on, I do want to stress that I am a firm believer that faster payments does not equal faster fraud. But let's go on. Okay, authorized push payment fraud is on the rise. But what is it? And who are the victims? Authorized push payment fraud happens when a fraudster deceives consumers or businesses to send them a payment under false pretenses to a bank account that is actually controlled by the fraudster or a mule who's controlled by the fraudster or that the fraudster has somebody else in place or some way of getting the funds from it. As payments are made using real-time, faster, instant payment schemes that are irrevocable, which is a key characteristic and requirement for these types of payments, it becomes an issue because these sending of these payments are an issue that I know as the payments professor I've been addressing in a lot of different videos. The characteristics of real-time payments are important and why it's so important to be able to have that really gives a certainty of payment and understanding a settlement and how everything's going to work. But on the flip side, it's something that has been an issue for the victims. Now they are victims of authorized push payment fraud schemes because they cannot reverse a payment once they realize they have been deceived or they've been conned. Now, the approach that is taken by the fraudsters, it's not new. It's nothing new. I keep saying fraud happens before the payment. The faster payment option is just a way of sending the money once the fraud has happened. See, these fraudsters, they're still in this scheme using social engineering techniques. They hack into somebody's email, some other system, in order to set up their victims. The methods of attack are used are a wide range. The defining factor is that authorized push payment fraud is the use of just the real-time faster payment schemes to transfer money to the fraudsters. Real-time payments may be perceived to lower the risk for fraudsters since the money is received instantly. Fraudsters can then quickly extract their ill-gotten gains. It's really the proverbial take the money and run. These criminals are devious, they're clever, and the victims cannot simply be written off as gullible fools in my opinion. Okay, maybe in some cases. Remember this though, most of you watching are banking professionals. And for you, these fraud techniques that are something that you are aware of. But for your end user, it's not always the case. Heck, to be honest, the professor has almost fallen victim to one. I have to tell you, it's the truth. But that's a video for another day. Authorized push payment fraud schemes include attacks on individuals. They can also be paying an invoice that looks exactly like one from, say, their child's school, but turns out to be a from a fraudster. And you send the money to the fraudster's bank account. Seriously, with the internet, word processing software, just a basic graphic or imaging software, you can easily create this stuff. There's also account takeover, where fraudsters initiate push payments to new payees, often across different channels with the goal of outsmarting existing fraud controls. There needs to be fraud controls. I hope you enjoyed this video on authorized push payment fraud. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. And if you'd like more, please message me or you can email me cabinetpaymentsprofessor.com. Until our next video, thank you and have a fantastic Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video on a, um, I hope you, <laughs>